Hello everyone, Okiaski here, and welcome to a brand new scripting tutorial. Today, we're going to be looking at how to do a cool little effect where you can see your own body parts in first person, and have this effect carry over into when you step into a vehicle as well. So, let's go ahead and get started. Alright, so stepping onto a brand new base plate, uh, to do this effect, all I'm going to do is create one local script and I'm going to do it inside of starter character scripts. So I'm going to go ahead and insert a local script inside of starter character scripts. Uh, I'm just going to call this first person body parts, whatever you want to call it. And I'm going to go ahead by start the script by initializing some basic variables, things that we need, right? So the first thing we need is the player, his character, and then that character is humanoid. So let's go ahead and grab the player. Local player equals game dot players dot local player. The character equals player dot character. And the humanoid. Local humanoid equals character dot humanoid. And we don't have to worry about doing any wait for childs here because this is a starter character script, meaning this will load after the character uh, so we don't have to do a wait for child on the humanoid and in addition to this we're going to need to grab the camera to do some camera settings so I'm going to do local camera equals workspace dot current camera that's where the camera is stored on the client all right so I'm going to start I'm going to break this off into three sections camera settings then we have changing transparency of body parts and lastly um, exception for when player steps in a vehicle okay so the first thing I'm gonna do is let's get these camera settings out of the way uh, the first thing I want to do is player dot camera max zoom distance this property is actually on the player and not the camera but uh, regardless I'm going to go ahead and uh, set this to 0 0.5 which is its minimum value and what that's going to do is this good is this going to force first person so it's going to force the player to stay in first person uh, they cannot zoom out far further than that Next, I'm going to go ahead and tweak the camera's field of view. Uh, this is going to be useful for when you're in first person because things look a little bit different than in third person. So uh, I actually like to ramp up the field of view. By default, it's 70. Uh, ramping up to 100 makes uh, the vision field of view a little bit wider, which is uh, useful for first person. I just recommend changing that a little bit. And then lastly, uh, I'm going to give you guys the ability to change the camera offset of the humanoid by doing humanoid dot camera offset equals vector three dot new and for now I'm gonna leave this as zero 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 and then when I'm done I'm gonna change these values and you're gonna see what that's gonna do but all of this right here is just personal preference uh, whatever you want the field of view to be and whatever you want the camera offset to be alright so now let's go ahead and change the transparency of every body part in the um, in the client's character and the reason why this is and the reason why we have to do this is because uh, when you're in first person and you look down or you look at your own body your your parts are actually there you just cannot see them because the client has a property called uh, local transparency modifier which makes uh, your own body invisible to you, but it's still visible to others. So your parts are actually there, you just can't see them. So what we're actually going to do is we're going to undo uh, that property for every part in the in the character. So it's going to go a little something like this. Uh, I'm going to do a for loop for each uh, part, for each child inside of the character by doing uh, for child index, child in pairs, character, get children do and we go ahead and make some space here 
and I'm going to say if that child is a base part with the exception of if the child's name is equal to head, well not equal to head. So I'm going to run this code for every single uh, child inside of the character that is a base part and isn't named head because I actually want the head to stay invisible because uh, it looks a little weird if you can, if you can see your own head. <clears throat> and then I'm going to do child dot local transparency modifier is equal to child dot transparency. So what that's going to do is it's going to change the transparency on the client to be the same as the transparency on the server. The, it's real. Uh, it's real transparency. Uh, unfortunately, that's not uh, all because once you do change local transparency modifier, it will instantaneously or the next frame basically uh, change right back to whatever it was. So we actually have to lock it. So to do that, uh, right before uh, this line, I'm going to go ahead and do child get property changed signal and I'm going to listen for the local transparency modifier and I'm going to connect that to a function and all that function is going to do is child dot transparency modifier is equal to child dot transparency which is the exact same line as right here so basically we're setting the transparency modifier to the real transparency but every time it's changed it just runs the same exact code again and this is a standard um, well this get property change signal is a function that listens for when this property is changed and we're going to connect that to a function like so alright so now our parts should all be visible and I'm going to go ahead and test that real quick just to make sure I did everything right okay I wrote transparency modifier should be local transparency modifier alright All right, as you guys can see, uh, I'm running around and I actually can see my own body parts. Um, this looks a little weird though, and that's because we haven't added any camera offset. So that's what I was talking about earlier, about camera offset. So um, quick tip to get out of this first person, you just want to go ahead and alt tab to something else and then stop it. So about this camera offset, uh, you can actually change uh, how the camera is positioned from the head. So this this first one x the x variable um, or the x component will is left and right. This middle one y is up and down, and this one is the one you're probably going to want to change is the z component. I like to put this to negative one, and if I go ahead and test it with z equal to negative one, it's going to push the camera just a little bit more forward and that way you don't see your back as much you can uh, make it a little more or a little less whatever you want to do but now if I look straight ahead I can't see anything but if I look down I, I just see the front of my body I don't really see my back at all so I, I like it on negative one alright so now that we have all that I'm actually gonna go ahead and insert a Jeep. This is my favorite favorite vehicle model of all time, the Jeep. And I want to show you what happens when you try to get in to a vehicle without uh, adding any code for that exception. So let me go ahead and walk in. Once my animations load, there we go. Once we step in, uh, the camera kind of gets way offset from where the player actually is, and that just kind of looks a little weird. So let's go ahead and fix that.
with one last uh, property change signal. So now um, we're going to listen for uh, when the camera property camera subject is changed. So we do camera get property change signal camera subject connect function and we're going to say if camera dot camera subject is a vehicle seat that means our player has entered a vehicle and the when the player when a player enters a vehicle uh, the camera subject actually gets changed from the character uh, root part or the humanoid or whatever to the vehicle seat which is what makes that third person vehicle uh, camera take into, take into effect uh, we just want to swap that camera subject right back to the humanoid okay so if I do one last test here uh, I'm gonna run through the code one more time just to show you everything here we have our initialize camera settings uh, locking the transparency of the body parts to the real real transparency and our vehicle exception let's go ahead and play it and we get, we should get something that allows us to have some good first person view and retain that when we step into a vehicle so let's go ahead and hop in and as you can see it looks pretty good uh, a little weird if you turn around but other than that yeah, it's pretty solid all right that's all i got for you guys today i uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video learned something new if you have any questions feel free to comment or hit me up on discord and join my server whatever you want to do and i'll see you guys in the next one